Combine elements of mechanical and industrial design with a touch of fantasy in the setting of the Victorian era. These are the artistic qualities of the science fiction subgenre known as steampunk. What many don't realize is that Cal State Fullerton alumni played a starring role in bringing this art form to life more than 30 years ago. Last week, two of the three innovators of the steampunk movement, award-winning science fiction authors and alumni James Blaylock and Tim Powers, returned to Cal State Fullerton to celebrate the launch of a new exhibit, Steampunk, The Beginning, at the Begovich Gallery, located on the university campus. Mike McGee, curator of the event, led a pre-gallery conversation with the authors and with Professor of Illustration Cliff Cramp, the program coordinator of the gallery. You know, it's been great talking to the authors. They're really entertaining and I've had some great individual meetings with them. And then of course, you know, to work with Cliff and the illustration students and to see what they come up with. To see that kind of creativity uh, on so many levels is really a lot of fun. And I know the authors have really enjoyed seeing what the artists are doing to the characters in their books. We initially pitched the idea about two, a little over two years ago, almost two and a half years ago now. So it's exciting. It's exciting that we were able to get uh, two of the three authors on board. Um, a book is going to accompany the show. Uh, and then the uh, students that uh, and alumni. So the whole idea was Cal State Fullerton illustrators celebrating Cal State Fullerton authors. So, uh, so far we're real pleased. Surreal is a great word for it, especially when the quality of the art is so good, you know? Um, it's just, it's amazing. Really, is it's still fun to write the stuff, and it's, uh, I suppose, even more fun today that people are excited about the, the whole movement, such as it is. I love the gears, love the technology with the old school Victorian feel, and uh, that's two. I mean, two things like just the idea of me uh, mechanics and old school tech together. I love that. I think there is something sort of enduringly arresting, attractive about the, the narrow alleys, the gas lamps, the carriages, uh, the Thames, the whole uh, Dickens's London. It's kind of an archetypal scene, place, uh, and I certainly don't see people stopping writing about it. Uh, I don't know if it'll always have the momentum it's got at the moment, but um, I hope it does. I hope it does last. The exhibit not only showcased steampunk art, but provided an opportunity for fans and observers of the genre to learn more about the start of this creative movement and interact with Powers and Blaylock. I went to this event because I want to get into new uh, reading literature, something to read. Okay. And then after the interview we just had and the work, I'm actually just really interested to check it out. Steampunk The Beginning will be on display until May 10th. For more information, visit the website www.fullerton.edu backslash arts.